Hello, welcome all. Today, in this lecture, we are going to discuss the cascade form structure for the given IIR filter. This is the learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to draw the cascade form realization structure for a given IIR system. So let us consider a high order IIR system with system function. Let us consider a high order IIR system with system function with system function H of Z is equal to summation k equal to 0 to m b suffix k z to the power minus k divided by 1 plus summation k equal to 1 to n a suffix k z to the power minus k so let us call this one as equation number 1. The system can be factored. The system can be factored into a cascade of second order subsystem second order subsystem such that h of z can be expressed as h of z is equal to product of k equal to 1 capital K h k of z. Let us call this one as equation number 2 where k is an integer part of n plus 1 divided by 2. So, h k of z is equal to b k naught plus b k 1 z to the power minus 1 plus b k 2 z to the power minus 2 divided by 1 plus a k 1 z to the power minus 1 plus a k 2 z to the power minus 2. Now, equation 2 can be represented as equation 2 can be represented as x of n which is equal to x1 of n. Now this is the input point 
h1 of z from this we are going to give the input to h2 of z okay from this this process will continue till it reaches the kth stage this is the h k of z and here we will get the output y of n which is nothing but the output of the kth system y k of n here okay so here this will be the output of y1 of n here we will write y1 of n so that is the output of the first subsystem and this is equal to x2 of n okay so similarly here we will get y2 of n and output of this part will be x3 of n okay so in that way here we will get y k minus 1 of n and here the input for this system will be x k of n now realize each h k of z in direct form 2 and cascade all structures to get the cascade form realization of the given IIR system ok so now I will show you uh, the direct form 2 structure for one of the subsystem here ok so let me take that subsystem has h k of z ok so I will show the direct form to structure for this h k of z subsystem here so now this is the direct form 2 structure for h k of z ok we will take one example here to understand how to draw the cascade form realization for the given system here. example realize the system with difference equation y of n 3 by 4 y of n minus 1 minus 1 by 8 y of n minus 2 plus x of n plus 1 by 3 x of n minus 1 in cascade form in cascade form solution from difference equation we get h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z which is equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 z inverse divided by 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse plus 1 by 8 z to the power minus 2 now which it can be written as we know that h of z can be written as h1 of z into h2 of z ok so now pause the video for some time and find out the values for what is the expression for h1 of z and h2 of z 
I hope you have found the expressions for h1 of z into and h2 of z. From the above expression, h1 of z is equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 z inverse divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse and h2 of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse. So, this is h1 of z and h2 of z. Now, we, are we realize the direct form 2 for h1 of z and h2 of z has shown below. So, h1 of z is equal to this can be realized as We will put one delay unit here. Okay. So here the coefficient will be 1 divided by 3 and here it will be 1 by 2. So this is the realization for h1 of z. Similarly, we realize the direct form 2 for h2 of z. So, here it will be input z inverse so here it will be 1 by 4 and here we will get the output of the system. Now, we cascade these two direct form 2 realizations to get the cascade form realization for the given IIR system. And at this point, we will get one of the output that is y1 of n and here it will be the input x of n which is equal to x1 of n and here it will be the input x2 of n and here we will get y2 of n which is equal to y of n. Okay. This completes the solution.